Always consult your visit instructions for the most up-to-date information. Pay special attention to sections in this video which indicate procedures have changed. The continuity training video will cover the nuts and bolts of what's expected during your regular merchandising visit, referred to as continuity visits. You are responsible for ensuring that all fixtures are set to planogram, also referred to as POG. Also, that signage is properly placed, back stock is organized, out of stocks and low stocks reported, and visit tasks documented through reporting and photos. There is a lot of detail behind how to ensure store visits are conducted efficiently and reported with 100% accuracy. If at any time you are unsure about a specific product, service, or task, please refer to the applicable training video or learning deck. Of course, you can also contact your district manager or field supervisor. Continuity visits are scheduled on a specific visit frequency for each store. The duration of each visit can vary at each location, so please make sure you check the time allotted for each store prior to starting. You cannot assume that your visit time will not change per visit, so make sure to check your schedule weekly. Your visit instructions, also referred to as a VI, provides all the detail that you need to plan, execute, and report your visit. It is extremely important that you review the first page of this document prior to leaving for a store to ensure you have all the proper material and or information required to complete your visit. You will want to identify any additional tasks added for a particular visit or general new tasks for the chain. Please don't assume that your VI will never change. Throughout this video, you will hear me refer to KPIs. KPIs stand for Key Performance Indicators. Your success is measured by these based on your reported data. You should have already been introduced to each KPI in the learning deck entitled Your Blackhawk Visits. Your goal should always be to achieve 100% of all KPIs. Conducting your visit is the first KPI and you should be 100% at all times. Now let's get started with your visit. When you arrive at the store, you will want to note the time and then proceed to check in with the store manager. Let he or she know the purpose of the visit, including any special tasks, and find out if there are any new shipments. Once you have answered any questions, note the first and last name of the manager that you met with and find out who the gift card champion is, the store employee who stocks the fixture. Once you leave the manager, you definitely want to meet the gift card champion, especially on your first visit, and confirm where all the backstock and shipments are kept. Usually backstock and new shipments are kept inside the largest fixture. However, extras or all may be located in customer service or in the back room. Stores are automatically replenished by Blackhawk, referred to as DSD. Arrive in a brown box with green tape labeled Blackhawk. Shipments arrive every three weeks, every two during most of fourth quarter. Bulk stores have cards that arrive from the retailer's warehouse and therefore the cards arrive in the same containers as the other store products. Your district manager or supervisor will let you know how your retailer receives product. Now you're ready to get started with your visit. First, you're going to want to sign into the Blackhawk vendor log, which is usually located in the primary fixture. It looks something like this. Next, you're going to want to walk the store to get the on-entry fixture conditions. You will need to locate all fixtures on the sales floor and in the back room, if any. You will want to organize each fixture by relocating any misplaced cards. You will do this in order to accurately report the number of empty pegs on entry. Then, you'll take your photo. Remember, these steps are all required before you place any additional cards from backstock or new shipments. Once you've walked the sales floor and taken all your entry photos, it's time to start merchandising. First, you'll want to secure a shopping basket or a carry basket in order to keep your cards and other items organized. You can also use a carry basket for trash. You should keep any supplies within reach, such as a pen, paper, backer tags, or labels. If you find backstock or any new shipments in a location other than the fixture, you will want to put these cards in your cart. 
You will want to keep your cart out of the way of customers at all times. That means keeping it clear of the middle of the aisles. If all fixtures appear to be in the same condition, either all excellent or all awful, follow this order to prioritize your merchandising. Number one, primary fixture. End cap or largest fixture in the store. Number two, secondary fixture. The next largest fixture, which is typically a tower. Number three, check lanes. Number four, other outlying fixtures, such as telecom, tiny tower, magazine rack, money center, etc. If you find that any of the fixtures are already stocked and look good, then skip those and move on to the fixtures in bad shape. approaches the fixture while you're working, make sure to greet them and ask if you can help them find something. Can I help you find something, miss? Yes, do you have a Lowe's for $200? I absolutely do, right here. Perfect. So here you go, miss. You have a great day. Thank you. you too. If you're unable to assist the customer, or it's not a gift card related question, make sure you direct them to a manager. Before you start merchandising, you want to make sure you understand the storage planogram for each fixture. Planograms show each card location on the fixture and are organized by category. Setting a fixture according to planogram is one of your KPIs. The learning deck and your visit instructions will provide you details with how to read a planogram. Before placing any cards from new shipments or back stock, you will want to straighten existing cards on the fixture and remove any damaged cards. You will also want to replace any missing or broken pegs. Cards are arranged by category, such as fashion or entertainment, making it easier to notice misplaced cards. Here's a tip. If you find a peg with only one or two cards, double check the backer label and planogram to make sure the cards are in the, on the correct peg. Refer to your planogram frequently to make sure cards and signage are properly placed. Once you have done this, you will want to make sure the backer tags or labels are placed for any empty pegs. If you do not have a pre-printed tag, hand write one. Next, you will want to continue to fill the pegs by using cards from new shipments, then cards in back stock. Make sure to remove all plastic and bands from card packaging prior to placing cards on the fixture. Some cards also come with rubber bands. Make sure to save those for special projects in the future. You should already know that General Purpose Reloadable GPR cards cannot be displayed in the gift card section or with the word gift above. Planograms are created with this rule in mind for stores that carry GPR. These cards sometimes have their own rack and at other times are placed in their own section of a gift card fixture. It is extremely important that you follow the planogram and make sure that GPR cards and reloading cards are never placed or stocked in the gift card section of a fixture. You must remove or cover any signage that communicates gift if found placed on top of a fixture or in the same side of the fixture where GPR cards are displayed. These cards must be separate from gift cards and gift card signage due to the Federal Card Act. You will be asked to report on GPR card and signage placement frequently. If you see a planogram at the store that is different from yours, refer to the date and use the most recent version. If the copy of the planogram that is kept at the store is out of date, let the card champion know at the end of your visit so they can print it off the computer. If you find cards which are not on POG for any fixture, check your VI for instructions. If it is a new card for which you do not yet have direction, leave it in back stock. Lastly, if cards are left from a shipper that has been removed and are not on planogram, you can throw these away. The exception is general purpose reloadable, GPR cards, which must always be returned to the warehouse following directions provided in your visit instructions and using the mailer provided. If a card is discontinued, you will receive specific direction to dispose of these cards. 
typically cards are discontinued because the card has been redesigned or the SKU is bad. If you are unsure whether a card is discontinued, contact your DM or supervisor. You will be answering entry and exit questions for each fixture during your visit. Red alerts are your opportunity to notify Blackhawk management of retailer specific or big picture challenges. Here are your red alert options. Has a fixture been discarded, placed in the back room, or severely damaged? On exit, does a single fixture have 20 or more pegs out of stock, or more than 30 out of stock pegs on all fixtures combined? Are all sides of the fixture not shoppable or visible to the customer? Did the store have concerns about overstock cards? Is a fixture missing more than 50% of their permanent signage? Is a store manager upset about anything pertaining to the cards? Is a store reporting fraud or theft challenges with the cards? Were the correct POGs available for this store? When asked to explain your red alert in detail, please be specific and to the point. Any remaining overstock must be organized by category, not POG. Setting overstock to POG is too time consuming and is not necessary. The point is to have an organized system in order to be compliant on this KPI. If backstock can be pegged, please do so. If store conditions dictate that you use a drawer or cartons, you will want to organize by category. In addition to merchandising the fixture, occasionally you are responsible for placing POP, short for point of purchase. In this instance, we're using Disney. Instructions on placement will be in your VIs. Backer tags are also considered POP and are part of your POP KPIs. Please note that the following segment regarding out-of-stock and low-stock reporting is now out of date. The definition of low-stock is now 10 cards or less per pig based on all fixtures. For out-of-stock and low-stock reporting accuracy is the most critical part of your visit and is an important KPI goal. It is mandatory that you report all out-of-stocks and low-stocks during every visit, unless there are none. If there are none, you will report no cards out-of-stock. An out-of-stock means there is zero of the card in the entire store. A low-stock is a card count of less than 10 cards for the entire store. To increase accuracy, out-of-stocks must be reported after you have worked all new card shipments and backstock and spread stock evenly throughout fixtures. You are not actually placing orders. You are only reporting which cards are needed for inventory purposes. Please reach out to your district manager or field supervisor if you encounter any obstacles at store level that would prevent you from achieving 100% KPI compliance. Our goal is for you to achieve the perfect visit 100% on all your KPIs on exit. Achieving the perfect visit is not only a measure of your success, but it also helps ensure the stores reach their maximum sales potential. Once you have completed all your visit requirements and call report, you are ready to touch base with the store manager to review your accomplishments and provide any feedback. If available, have the manager meet you at the primary fixture. In addition to recapping your completed tasks, you will want to let them know if their POG copy was out of date and discuss any challenges. Once you are done meeting with the manager, all that is left to do is have he or she sign the call report and the vendor log. Then report the time that you completed the visit. You will also want to remember to put any fixtures you might have opened to access backstock back into place. The purpose of this video was not only to ensure you know what is expected of you, but to also provide steps to make your visit as efficient as possible. If you ever find you are spending extra time on a task and think there must be an easier way, let your district manager or field supervisor know your thoughts. Or if you have any ideas to improve the processes, they want to hear from you. Hi, I'm Bill Walsh, Director of Field Operations for the Merchandising Team of Blackhawk. I want to thank you for taking the time to review this video. We look forward to creating more good training videos this year. I want to especially thank you for your tremendous effort and dedication. You are a big reason for Blackhawk's growth and success. Thank you. You have now completed the continuity training video. Please remember to refer to your visit instructions and learning decks for the most up-to-date information. Thank you.